Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to see how to do a moving platform. So go to this direction. It's going to stop at the edge of that uh, rectangle there. And if you press again, do the same thing. So it's going to stop on the other side. So we're going to see how to do this platform. And uh, also there is an elevator platform. So it's just pretty much the same. Instead of going left and right, it's go up and down. And you adjust your timing, how much time it's going to go take to go up and down. Pretty simple, so we're going to see how to create those two platforms and we're going to just jump to a new project. So I'm going to close this one here and just start a new third person project. So I already have it started here. So I'm going to create a blueprint and I'm going to call that the elevator. There we go. And I'm going to first of all, I'm going to go to edit project setting. I'm going to go to input. I'm going to add a new action mapping. I'm going to call that action. And I'm going to select the key that you want on the keyboard. For me, I'm going to select E. And I'm going to close that. Perfect. So I'm going to go in the elevator. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add a static mesh. I'm going to call that elevator. And I'm going to select a cube here. Just search for cube. There we go. And now we're just going to size that cube. So it's look exactly the way we want. Uh, oh, it's locked. I'm going to unlock this. Now it should be a little bit bigger. There we go. Perfect. Just doing a platform, something around those lines. That's fine for me. And just for fun, I'm going to search for the default water material, just so it's kind of a black platform. From elevator here, we're going to add uh, a sphere and we're just going to place that sphere around here. And I'm just going to call that sphere um, console. So I'm just going to call that console. There we go. And I'm just going to adjust the size a little bit. It's just to have a reference point uh, in the game. That's pretty much what it is. So here we go around this. And what I'm going to do with the console, just to make it match with the platform, I'm going to search for SM underscore ball. I'm going to select this one. And once again, I'm going to search for the default water material. There we go. So it's fitting the platform here. I'm just going to compile that. I'm going to add a collagen box now. Collagen box. I'm going to move that collagen box. Here, I'm just going to resize that a little bit. So let's do the platform around this. That's perfect. I'm going to save and compile. Perfect. So from the box here, we're going to create the begin overlap. And we're going to create again on the box. And we're going to click the end overlap. From that now, we're going to go to... We're already in the event graph, I mean. So we're going to take from the other actor. We're going to cast to our third person character game or your character in your game and from that we're going to enable input and here we're going to cast the third person character once again so cast to third oops third person character whoops not this one well actually i'm just going to what just copy paste that there we go and we're going to connect those two together like so Perfect. And from that, I'm going to drag and disable input. And from this here, we're going to get the player controller. And we're going to plug this to player controller. Like so. Perfect. So here, we already create the action. So we're going to search for action. And from here, we're going to create our logic that's going to allow us every time our character go to that collision box is going to enable the input which is this one and when we go out of that box it's going to disable that so we can't press e anywhere else other than uh, the platform so from this we're going to search for flip flop so every time you click a it's going to every time one the first time you click is go to a for and the second time you click go to b and so on so from that, we're going to create a branch or be on your keyboard. We're going to do the same thing in the bottom here. There we go. We're going to create a variable. So 
just go on variable here and can't uh, control and we're gonna compile and make sure that the can control it's tick here and we're gonna drag that right in the middle and do a get connect this to the two branches and from this one here we're gonna set control so just put it here set control and we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom here there you go like so now from that we're gonna search for timeline Oops. timeline there you go add timeline I'm just gonna call that moving platform there you go we're gonna connect this one to reverse there you go. so we're gonna go in the timeline and in the timeline here we're gonna add a track and I'm just gonna call that it later up oops up and down I'm gonna click here so we can see it on the screen so I'm gonna right click and add a key the key I'm gonna put a value of uh, let me just convert zero that's good I'm gonna add another one and this one I'm gonna put a value of five I mean a time of five and a value of one and go like this I'm gonna click here so I can see it on one graph so we're all done with that so instead of you know going up and down in one shot it's gonna go slowly go up and take five seconds to reach the destination you're gonna see a little bit more what I'm talking about when we're done so we're gonna go back to the elevator here the graph I mean and from this uh, we're gonna drag and we're gonna search for set relative location and we're gonna select the one for the elevator there you go I'm gonna move that here now we're gonna search for alert I'm just gonna move a little bit this there perfect from that we're gonna promote that to verbal and prom oops and promote the uh, the other one to a variable there we go so this one a will be called the start point and this one here will be called the end point like so we're gonna compile so you can put your number here for your platform but what we're gonna do instead we're just gonna do that from the viewport so when you click start point make sure that it's editable so check this and same thing with the endpoint so we can access those two variable from the uh, viewport uh, from now from the finish we're gonna drag the can move and we're gonna do a set and we're gonna check that box and we're gonna drag from the elevator up and down to the alpha here there you go now all our logic is done so when our character go on the collision box it's going to enable the input when you go out going to disable this input when it's simple the input well it's going to do all this logic to move the elevator for us so we're going to compile go back to our um, viewport here we're going to put the elevator right there so as you see you have the start point and end point so what we're going to do we're just going to change the number here so we're going to put I don't know 60 and we're going to do play and you see we go up obviously it's not going fast because it's take five seconds if you click again five seconds to go down um, so to adjust that well it's just because here need to be a little bit bigger so if I put 300 and do play go on it see take five seconds to reach the 300 number and if you go again go down same thing so it's how you do that so to do the moving platform on the side uh, that's pretty much the same uh, but instead of changing this one here right we are gonna change the one here so we're gonna change the Y so we're gonna just I don't know put 300 oops not this one we're gonna put 
300 here and let's try it out see it's moving on the side so that's pretty much simple that's the same thing you can do two blueprint if you want to or use the same blueprint is as you wish so hopefully uh let's answer your question and i'll catch you uh, on the next one see ya guys